Hey, what's up, everybody? Michael Reeder here, CPA entrepreneur, owner of Swartz and Reader Advisors. Just wanted to drop some knowledge here, just drop some advice. Um, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Um, you know, I mean, this, I, I'm saying this in the context of business, but it's really also like in life too, like it's applicable to life. Um, just understand the importance of taking time to reflect, uh, like a, just a quick hitter video, right? I, I just did a recent quick hitter about the importance of working on your business and working in your business simultaneously, as opposed to like uh, like thinking that it has to be in the extremes, like one or the other. Um, and and that's and that's very important to do both simultaneously, working in the business, working on the business. However, a big part of working on the business is taking a step back and thinking. OK, we get so when we're caught up in the day to day, you know, the day to day tasks, uh, like so, for example, like uh, for me, like Mondays, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm on phone calls and Zooms like back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Right. And so and then on Wednesdays and Fridays, I, I, I time block and a part of that time blocking allows me to think. Um, and so when I'm on all those Zooms and, 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 and phone calls back to back to back to back, that is like the the definition of me working in the business. I'm just, you know, going from one thing to the next, one thing to the next, one thing to the next, one thing. My focus, my deep focus is like on that specific task, uh, on the, like the, like I'm listening to that person that I'm talking to on that phone call or on that Zoom. Um, I'm not thinking about like macro plans for my business. Um, but if you do that, if you do that back to back, you know, phone calls all, like all day, every day, then you're always caught up in what we like to call the daily grind. And that's good because it's good to be busy and, 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 and you're hustling and, you know, you're taking care of your clients, you're taking care of like, you know, you're, you're communicating with your employees, you're getting stuff done. That's good. That's good. That's good. But what that, all, what that also is, is being in a hamster wheel. And, and that is working in your business, right? Like that's the micro speed, right? And um, uh, for me, a big part of working on my business is when I intentionally find times throughout the week certain days like Mondays and Fridays compared compared to Tuesdays, Wednesday uh, to um, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, like so Wednesdays, Fridays, but not only Wednesdays, Fridays, also mornings and nights. I do my like when there's when, when there is, first of all, like when there's not as much noise because I intentionally block my calendar on Wednesdays and Fridays um, that because there's less noise that allows me to think. And I think about these macro things like what, like, how should I optimize the workflow for our tax return preparation process? How should I optimize the workflow for our inbound phone call system? How should I optimize the workflow for our payroll division? How should I optimize the workflow for our, our, our subscription-based PSA, professional service agreement model, which, you know, stay tuned. We're, we're coming out with that really more. Like, how could we build out our family office um, model of our firm? You know, stay tuned because that's coming. Um, and uh, how can I... How can I better communicate things to my team? How could I be more of an effective leader? Um, you know, all the like, so I think about these things when there's not noise. So you have to intentionally find, like, you have to find your own pockets of time where, where you can think. Um, you know, I mean, I'm an entrepreneur, I, 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 I'm a multi, uh, I, I own multiple businesses um, and and I love it, but it, uh, it, it cannot, like, like it also can get overwhelming at times. Um, and so uh, how do you not let the overwhelmingness, if that's even a word, get the best of you, right? And so you need to intentionally time block. Time block to do what, right? So like time block to breathe, to meditate, however you meditate, uh, to think. And 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 because like it's in those settings, in those calm waters, that things that are, you know, working on the business type of stuff start to come to you. They start to come to you. Okay. So, you know, and so for me, I always have my best aha moments, my best thinking moments when I have a quiet day, like a Wednesday, Friday, or a weekend. Um, or at night after dinner, when I go for a walk, I always go for about a 30 minute walk after dinner. It's in these moments. Uh, it's a it, it's it's in these moments when we're we're not working but we're thinking and we're thinking about some of these like 
you know, higher level macro, you know, working on business type of things um, that they just start to come. They start to like, like the, they start to solidify and materialize in my mind. Um, and so it's a combination of making sure that you don't, that you, that you block out the noise so you can think. And also, as you've heard me, as you just heard me say there, um, motion helps thinking, you know, like doing the dishes, going for a walk, doing weight training, doing mundane t- chores around the house. It helps to, you know, we are human beings. Like we're like when we're awake, we're supposed to be moving. You know, like, like I'm at my desk right now. I have a standing desk. I don't have a sitting desk. That's one of my little um, life hacks. That's really helped me optimize myself as a human being the last three years. Um, and so a combination of blocking out the noise and finding and, 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 and thinking in motion, right? Like walking, et cetera, et cetera. These are things that allow you to optimize your thinking. And when you're in a situation, when you're in a setting where your thinking is optimized, right, which has to do with being calm, no distractions, no noise, and 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 you're in motion, you're you're, you're walking, you're you're doing something like you, the, the body's in motion because the body and the mind, the spirit, it's all connected. This is when we increase the chance of having aha moments, things that have been stressing us out, giving us anxiety for months, years, days, weeks, whatever. And we're, we're trying to figure out like, what is the next move? Like, like, how, how do we do this? Like, how do we, how do we improve our sales process? How do we, you know, how do we, you know, in like improve the, the quality control of our, of our tax preparation process? Um, uh, this is like, like for me and my CPA firm, how do we, you know, how do we optimize our marketing? The solutions that I come up with, um, the, the solutions that I come up with and bring to the table to my, you know, for, uh, to my team, we, and, and a lot of them we end up implementing and some of them don't work, but you know, several of them do. They come in moments when I'm optimizing my thinking. So that is a big part being in a situation where you can optimize your thinking, taking time to time block and, and doing all the things I just mentioned that you could do to optimize your thinking. Cause when you're, when you have a clear mind, the ideas to solving complex problems and coming up with solutions will just come to you, will come to you. And if you don't, and if you're always in the constant grind, constant grind, constant grind, constant grind, constant grind, constant grind, you'll never have, like, you'll never optimize your thinking and be in a situation where you could come up with the solutions because, the, the, uh, and, and it's, it's easier said than done, but it can be done. And a lot of it is just um, giving yourself time to think. So a big, you know, more like in conclusion, right? The moral of the story is a big part of working on your business is giving yourself time to think and amazing things will happen if you do that. Love you all. It's Friday now. So I'm, I'm leaving this on a Friday. So like whenever you're listening to this, have a great day, great weekend, great week, whatever it is. Um, just keep doing what you do. Um, hit that subscribe button. Reach out to me whenever I'm here for all of you. More content coming. Bye, everyone.